One of the reasons why I filed a petition in the Supreme Court in my own name, in which I have said that proceedings in court should be live streamed. I think all of us, we the people, have a right to know what goes on inside the courtroom. And not everyone can be present. When you make this demand, we are told, well, proceedings in court are open, aren't they? But the point is, how many of us are able to remain present in court on a given date? I'm absolutely confident that everyone in this country would have liked to listen to the arguments as they proceeded in the judgment lawyer case or in the triple talaq case or in the cases which are now pending the challenge to section 377 the challenge to the law relating to adultery these cases affect you and me and we have a right to know what is being said in court Aadhaar, the right to privacy these are the cases which shape the nation and we have a right to know who is saying what the case of live streaming came before the court on 9th of july Attorney General K.K. Venugopal said, live streaming should not only be in the cases of national importance, but for all cases. It will then be easy for litigants in different parts of the country to observe their matters. Justice D.Y. Chandrachur observed, once the principle of open courts and access to justice has been accepted in a constitution, live streaming simply is an extension of that. Chief Justice of India Deepak Mishra observed, Matrimonial matters as a category could be excluded and privacy of the individuals will be taken into consideration. Disallowing of any matter would be at the discretion of the court. This is a step in the right direction towards institutional change, transparency and accountability within judiciary, opined Ms. Indira Jaising.